When it comes to increasing in-flight comfort, pressurization sits atop the list of impactful features to seek out. The Piper Mirage stands alone in the marketplace as the only current production piston engine aircraft equipped with a pressurization system. There's simply nothing else like it. The pressurization system on the Mirage is wonderfully designed, easy to use, and proven over hundreds of models since the introduction of the original Malibu in 1984. In this video, we'll briefly discuss how the system works, how the pilot controls it, and show you in-flight footage of the real difference it makes for both pilots and passengers. Very simply, the Mirage is equipped with two separate engine turbochargers that compresses air for both heating and cabin pressurization. Bleed air, as it's called, is routed from the turbochargers to heat exchangers for conditioning and then enters the cabin through side panel ducts. The pressurized space in the Mirage is from the cockpit to the aft baggage compartment behind the rear seats. To regulate the amount of air in the aircraft, there are two valves located in the very aft of the cabin behind the baggage compartment. One valve, known as the outflow valve, maintains the desired amount of pressure as is set by the pilot, and the other valve, known as the safety valve, is a backup should the outflow valve malfunction. This system is self-generated and without time restrictions. In other words, you won't run out of pressurization or need to refill anything prior to flight. The pressurization controls include a cabin pressure controller for setting desired cabin altitudes, a rate knob for adjusting the cabin's climb or descent, and a push-pull knob that controls the valve sending air to the cabin. In addition to these controls, there's also a cabin dump switch that allows pilots to open the safety valve should the need arise to rapidly depressurize. On the Garmin G1000, the cabin pressure window gives you all the information you need to know. On the top left is the cabin altitude. A cabin altitude warning message will appear at altitudes above 10,000 feet. At the Mirage's maximum approved altitude of 25,000 feet, you should expect to see around an 8,000 foot cabin. On the top right is the cabin altitude rate showing either a climb, descent, or level condition. And at the bottom is the cabin differential pressure, or the difference in pounds per square inch between the cabin's air pressure and the outside. The Mirage is automatically regulated to a maximum of 5.5 PSI cabin differential. Setting the controls is straightforward. Start by setting the outer scale, which represents the desired cabin altitude, to approximately 500 feet above the departure airport field altitude prior to takeoff. If you do nothing else for the rest of the flight, the cabin will stay at the selected altitude until it reaches maximum differential pressure, and then will start to climb holding as low of a cabin as possible. However, to smooth operation for flights above 12,500 feet, it's recommended that you reset the cabin controller to 500 feet above your cruise altitude, which is represented by the inner scale, after the cabin begins to pressurize. For the descent, simply reverse the process and return the outer scale to 500 feet above your landing airport's pressure altitude. The rate knob can be adjusted for your desired cabin climb or descent. Selecting the 9 o'clock position should give you around 500 feet per minute change. Okay, so level here at 11,000 feet, uh, inter intermediate level. Just want to demonstrate that the cabin uh, is actually Close, very close to sea level, only indicating about 120 feet. As you can see, our, we're level, our cabin is no longer moving, neither climbing nor descending. And we have about 5 PSI differential pressure in the cabin. Uh, it's not max diff, it's getting close to maximum differential. Uh, but as you can see, we're able to hold a sea level cabin at 11,000 feet. Okay, so we're here level at flight level 220, 22,000 feet. The cabin is only 6,460 feet. This is all our bodies are feeling. Uh, very similar to if you were flying your normally aspirated airplane down low, but we have the benefit of being higher with the better true airspeed. It's nice and smooth up here. Uh, 
usually the radio traffic is a is a little less than flying down six, seven, eight thousand feet. You can see our uh, cabin differential is a five point four, uh, almost at maximum diff. That means cabin is giving you just about all it can, which is it's working correctly. Is that what it's, it's what it's telling me? Uh, so yeah, that's twenty two thousand feet, and we're only feeling sixty five hundred. Not a bad ride. So we're going to be in the descent for uh, we're out of one seven thousand for one four thousand. Uh, we're coming down in excess of two thousand feet a minute, um, and we're only feeling six to seven hundred feet a minute in the cabin. So very reasonable rates uh, to come down, even though we are coming down quite quick uh, in any kind of unpressurized airplane. Uh, it would definitely bother passengers with sensitive ears or those even with not. The hallmark of the Piper Mirage is providing class-leading comfort in a capable and efficient airframe. Experience one for yourself and see what so many owners have come to know. The Piper Mirage truly is in a class all by itself.